Guys, and welcome to Trad in Tuesday. It is Trad Man from Mackay Window Cleaning Services. I'm just doing a little video today on some handy hints and tips um, on window cleaning. So here we go. So first things first, I've just arrived at this job. Um, so I'm just going to show you initially what I do. Um, so I've just taken um, some pure water um, here. Um, reason why it's pure um, is because I normally, or used to, keep my pre-made solution like a lot of guys do um in here and um, but what i was finding was especially in our climate where it's, it can be quite cold and windy um my fingers as you can well they're kind of recovered now but um my fingers were cracking quite a lot because what i do is when i've finished a job i fill up this bottle in this bucket um and i found since using just pure water that my hands have healed up so that's why i i do that um, and I, so I'm not constantly dunking my hands in that uh, pre-made cleaning solution. So what I do now is um, I soap up the mop by, let's grab my little bottle here. Um, I have a, this is just complete fairy liquid in here. Um, so open it up, I'll try and do this one handed. And I just put a couple little lines of it on there. And that's enough just to get it to soap up on the glass. You do need um, a kind of reasonable, decent amount. I mean, that is enough, just kind of a little bit across the pad there, because um, you want decent slip when you're doing the windows, especially in this house. I'm going to do I'll show you some of the windows um, because they've got t quite tight little openers, um, as you'll see in a second. So here we go. Okay, guys. Step one. So just wait to soap up the windows here. These are the little openers I was telling you about. Um, they're literally maybe about an inch and a half to two inches if that slightly wider than my 10 inch accelerator here. So I'm just soaping them up, not overdoing it. So as you can see, the solution is not running down the, the pane underneath. Um, so it's the solution is kind of staying on the glass, kind of ready to be squeegeed. Um, be careful not to, again, I'll stress not to jam the flick pad up into the top section of the frame because you don't want any drips coming down or have to get your microfiber cloth out to have to dry that top bit of framework there. Um, these are quite tricky windows to do because the rubber seals on these windows are quite grippy. Um, so if you get your angle slightly wrong, the accelerator tends to kind of get a little bit stuck in the seal. And um, they're quite soft seals as well. So uh, you just have to kind of be careful with these ones. Um, so yeah, usual kind of method, you can either, as you saw on that uh, window just there, you can either do a couple of little pull downs and start your technique of fanning it down or cut in from one side. The problem is, is there's not an awful lot of room to cut in from one side to the other uh, on these type of small openers anyway. Um, so I generally tend to find that I've done a little couple of uh, bit of feathering or pull downs, whatever you want to call it, um, is easier um, just to dry that first section um, of glass up at the top left or right and um, choose whichever size is easiest for you. Um, so those, that's the technique. Feel free to um, replay this video a few times so you get the general gist of how to clean these top openers. Um, I just, as you saw there, used the flick pad to sort of dry up the drips um, that are coming down from the top frame. It just saves having to get your cloth out immediately and drying up those frames you can get on to cleaning the bottom ones. So here I'm just doing the bottom section. Again, this is obviously a bit more easier to do. Um, obviously same again, don't jam your applicator this time into the top of the frame. Um, that way you don't have to get your microfiber out. If you're using these tools correctly, you shouldn't really need to use your microfiber cloth at all. Um, the only time I ever really take out my microfiber cloth, um, my polishing cloth that is, um, not the one I use for sills, um, is for leaded glass because for obvious reasons you can't squeegee leaded glass. So, other than that, try and have it as a goal yourselves to go out, if you do trad quite a lot, um, not to use your um, detailing um, scrim or microfiber cloth, whatever it is you use. Have that as a goal, not to use that, maybe, maybe no more than once or twice a day. Or if you want to be similar like myself, don't use it at all. <laughs> um, unless it's leaded glass. We'll let you off for leaded glass, that's fine. Okay, so as you saw the technique there, just cutting in from one side and fanning it down. Okay, and just checking them over there. 
and make sure this this is a really nice customer of mine um, always ask permission again before you uh, do any recording yourself um, I had a really nice chat with a nice customer here and told her that I did a YouTube page so uh, yeah she's really really cool so it's nice for them to know that you do that kind of thing as well um, so then you know they know you take an interest in your job and your trade um, and they might start asking you questions or might even check it out so um, might be good for your YouTube channel guys um, to have a chat with your customers before you film because you never know what might come out of it so anyway that's those windows nicely done okay so just doing a first person view this time so here we go just showing this is slightly wider um, top opener windows this time so a little bit more room to play with so as you can see the cutting in method from going left to right or right to left will work absolutely fine on this type of window now you see me there just drying up the drips and I'm just using very very light pressure with the flick pad to try and absorb some of those drips just to save me having to get my cloth out right there and then um, with a view to doing the paint underneath um, straight afterward as you'll see in a second so again just try to kind of use the edge of it very very lightly catch those drips and then I can do the paint underneath soap up in the usual method obviously nice big panes nice and easy especially with a 10 inch accelerator it's amazing how much uh, area you can cover with a 10 inch accelerator you don't necessarily need the bigger channels these are much faster to use so granted you have to move it around a bit more because it's not covering as much glass in the same time but these are rapid fast to use small squeegees so here, what I'm doing is just putting my cloth on the end of the pole there. I've um, got some bushes and plants in the way, so I can't quite reach the uh, windowsill there. It's just nice to put it on the end, give it a bit of a dry up and uh, get any stew and dirt off the uh, windowsill there. Look at all this plants I have to try and get through. Some of them are prickly, you know. Right, so just extending the pole out a little bit because don't really want to kind of trample down the uh, nice ladies plants there so just stand where I am and extension pole at the ready so cut in nice and slowly hopefully you guys can see this nice and clearly I quite often I'll go left to right I think that's my usual way of doing it It doesn't really matter you can go right to left or left to right and then cutting in it doesn't really matter Again, just open up you'll see again this is a bit of a better video up close you can see the solution when applied to the glass is staying on the glass it's not running down onto the next pane it's not really runny and that's what you want um, you don't want any solution to have to you know dry up if you don't have to so the way I get around that is I just apply enough water onto my flick pad that I need I don't completely drench the thing um, and I just apply a few drops of soap directly onto the flick pad and that gets me that consistency of solution that you see there. So you can see it's not running down the glass, it's just basically waiting to be squeegeed. So there, do one side, nice and gentle across the top and down again. And then just fan down the middle. Look at that. And as you can see, the solution underneath that big pane, it's not an awful lot to have to, to dry up there. Um, so obviously the less solution you can get away with using, the better. Because um, obviously if you just absolutely drench your applicator or flick pad in cleaning solution, that's just going to be more for you to clean up. So less is more. Okay guys, this is now the uh, back of the property here. So just again to show you these slightly longer, thin opener windows. Um, the squeegee here is set to 25 degrees. If you're quite close to the building where you haven't got much room behind you, um, if you set it to the 40 degrees, it just means you'll close out to the bottom of that window perfectly every time. But because I've got the room to stand back, um, I can set the squeegee to 25 degrees and still close out really, really well as you'll see there. Okay, so you can either use the blade of the squeegee or the flick pad to get the XF uh, drips off there. 
um, and I'll come back later with a cloth just to get any further residue that might have come down that sneakily comes down when I'm not looking. So here we go, cutting in from left to right, down to the corner, see I don't lift off there, that's another technique you can do, if you can, um, it will save your shoulders, and again, close out, and just dry out your drips. Okay, just a way to put the cloth in end of the pole here to use it just to dry up those sneaky little drips that I'll want to come down as soon as I walk away from the window. Okay, so if you've got split windows like this up above where they're both next to each other, it makes sense to soak them both up. Um, as long as it's not a scorching hot day, which would dry out, you know, one of your windows instantly while you're squeegeeing the other. So, um, yeah, cut in from the left or the right as you see fit. And remember to lift your pole up at the bottom, like the, like so. This will make sure you close out perfectly every time. If you keep practicing with these techniques, it will become second nature. Um, I didn't always use a swivel tool myself. Um, I came from your traditional um, Unger and Ettore brass channels, fixed channels um, and handles. So, you know, I didn't really have much experience before this uh, Moorman or Moorman, however you want to pronounce it, um, company designed this accelerator squeegee. So I've had to learn uh, the tool since it came out. Um, now I feel really comfortable with it to the point where there's not really many windows I would say that I probably couldn't squeegee now. Um, as long as I can get my pole up to it and soap it, I could probably squeegee it. So that's the theory anyway. And close out again. Even when I'm doing sort of windows that are reasonably low down as well, you know, up to my sort of uh, shoulder height, I'll still lift the pole a little bit just so it pulls the squeegee rubber in the channel right down into the bottom of that frame to make sure that you don't um, leave a couple of millimetres of solution just kind of sitting at the bottom of the frame there. Um, most, to be honest, nine times out of ten, most people probably wouldn't notice, but you yourself as a professional window cleaner will probably. <laughs> guys hopefully those little tips have been uh, helpful to you and hopefully you've enjoyed Trading Tuesday um, if you'd like to see anything else in the future um, anything that you'd like to know other hints and tips perhaps um, please do get in touch in the comments box below um, I'll leave a link also to our Facebook web page if you'd like to go and have a look um, we daily update things on there as to what kind of things we're getting up to um, or just might just take a random picture of what's going on in that day so uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed and I'll see you on the next Trad and Tuesday. Bye for now.